Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Tommy Anderson, and today I will be discussing with you the basics of the Unified Modeling Language, also known as UML. This presentation will be brief and concise, covering just the basics of UML. We will discuss what it is and is not, why it has been implemented, and a simple overview of the system itself. UML is a modeling language, similar to a flowchart, which allows you to see things in a conceptual way. The main purpose of UML is to provide a standard way to visualize the design of a system. Most often used by software developers, it is simply a collection of notations, mostly graphical, used to express the design of the software. So let's look at the basics of what UML is and is not. First, what UML is. UML is a modeling language used by developers to conceptually or visually understand the design of a software or product. UML is a form of notation. It is a collection of symbols put in a diagram format, allowing easy understanding. And lastly, UML is an organization method. By creating these diagrams, for users of the UML language can easily see the order of things and how a system works together as a whole. Now to what UML is not. UML is not a technology. UML is an idea. It's not an object. UML is not a software. It is not an application, but rather a standardized way of notation. However, UML must be used in a software package, like Lucid Charts. And lastly, UML is not a programming language. By using the UML language, you are not creating the actual system or software, but simply the blueprints. Now, similar to the blueprints of a home, a UML chart will allow those working with it to see the big picture. They will understand the process and how their role plays into it. As has been noted, UML is simply a form of notation. These are a sampling of the common symbols used in UML. Similar to the house blueprint, UML has become the standard in concept design. And that is what makes it so important. Ever since the style was created by the Object Management Group in 1997, it really has become the standard for specifying, visualizing, constructing, and documenting the artifacts of software systems. For the actual design of the model using UML, you must learn the basic notations needed. I will attach a link to this video which will take you to a PDF file which shows you step by step all of the actual notations that are needed. To wrap things up, I would just like to note that UML has simply put into practice the classic adage that says, a picture is worth a thousand words. Any complex system is best understood by making diagrams or pictures. UML has prepared this notation to help you create these diagrams in a simple and better way. Now, I would just like to say thank you for listening in, and I would invite you to reach out to me if you have any questions regarding the Unified Modeling Language. Now, I hope you have a great day. Enjoy yourself. Goodbye.